The Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM, can do a lot, but it has some limitations. Let's check out first what the EVM is and how it works. By deploying a computer program or a smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain, you are deploying binary coded opcodes, which can do certain things. It's not that important right now to completely understand, but what is important is that the EVM is Turing complete. Well, Turing completeness or computationally universal is when it's generally possible to simulate any Turing machine. And the Turing machine was invented by Alan Turing. Now, with loops and advanced data structures, there is a lot of power in the EVM. With the decentralization of the nodes and therefore the consensus on the result, it is very secure, but unfortunately, it's not very fast. No matter what you want to do, you cannot escape the sandbox. So all the code running inside the EVM is sandboxed. That means you cannot access any hardware layers of the computer to accelerate anything. The EVM is based on transactions. So the user sends off a transaction and for any computation to take place, this transaction has to be mined. And that happens every few seconds. Which means, in order to get the result of a function, you would have to wait for the transaction to be mined. And that, in other words, you have to wait a few seconds until a function is executed and the result is available. So, now you should know that the Ethereum blockchain is not made for I.O. heavy operations such as games, but it is built for trust and security. Your second takeaway, the EVM is Turing complete and it is sandboxed. Now, let's dive in the next lectures and see how that works concretely with hands-on examples.